Are you tired of voiceovers that sound amateurish and unpolished? Say goodbye to low quality audio and hello to professional grade voiceovers. By the end of this video, you'll have the skills you need to edit your voiceover like a pro using Adobe Audition. The first step is to import your audio files into the program and organize them in the workspace for easy access. Start by opening Adobe Edition and selecting File, then Import, browse to the location where your audio files are stored, select the files you want to import, and click Open. You can also just drag and drop your files into the workspace. Once your audio files are imported, it's time to organize them in the workspace. You can use labels, markers, and regions to mark important points in the audio, such as where to make cuts or where to apply effects. This helps you quickly navigate during the editing process. And make sure to use descriptive names when labeling and organizing your audio files to ensure easy recognition and quick access. The last part of preparing to edit is to save your workspace so that you can easily return to it later. To do this, go to Window and select Save Workspace. You can also save multiple workspaces for different editing tasks or projects. Creating high quality audio is critical for any video project. However, audio issues like background noise, mouth clicks, and plosives can make your final product sound unprofessional and distract viewers from your content. Luckily, it's possible to remove these unwanted sounds and create a clean, polished audio track. One of the most useful tools for cleaning up audio is the noise reduction tool. Here's how to use it. Open your audio file and select Select the section you want to clean up. Go to the Effects Rack panel and select the Noise Reduction Restoration option. Choose Noise Reduction Process Effect and adjust the parameters to suit your audio. A good starting point is noise reduction of around 10 to 15 decibels, with a reduction smoothing of about 1.5. Click the Learn Sound Module button to train the software on the noise you want to remove. Make sure you only select a section of the audio where the noise you want to remove and no other audio. Preview the audio to hear the difference and adjust the settings until you're happy with the result. In addition to noise reduction, you can use Audition Spectral Frequency Display to identify identify and eliminate other common audio issues, such as hum or buzz. Here are some tips for using the spectral frequency display. Open the spectral frequency display by selecting it in the waveform editor and use the zoom tool to zoom in on the problem area of your audio. Then identify any peaks or spikes in the frequency sound that corresponds with the unwanted sound. Use the lasso tool to select the problem area and then apply a notch filter to eliminate the frequency causing the issue. When creating a voiceover, the pacing and timing of the audio are critical. If the pacing is off or the timing is awkward, it will distract the listener and detract from the overall message of the voiceover. Here's how to use the editing tools to adjust the timing and pacing of a voiceover. Import your voiceover audio file and create a new multi-track session. Drag the audio file onto the multi-track timeline and adjust the volume as needed. Use the razor tool to cut the audio into smaller sections to make it easier to work with. In addition to adjusting the timing and pacing, it's essential to cut and paste the audio in a way that creates a seamless, natural sounding voiceover. Here's some tips for doing this. Use the copy paste function to move sections of the voiceover around as needed. Make sure you use crossfades to smooth out transitions between different sections. Listen to the voiceover as a whole to ensure that it flows naturally and there are no sudden jumps or awkward pauses. If you need to remove a section of the voiceover, use a razor tool to cut it out, then use the crossfade effect to blend the remaining sections together. After you've edited your voiceover to perfection, the next stop is to enhance its audio quality. It's important to create a professional sounding voiceover that captivates and engages your audience. Here's how to use these tools to enhance Enhance the audio quality of your voiceover. Open the effects rack in Adobe Audition and add the parametric equalizer to your voiceover track. Use the equalizer to adjust the frequency levels of the voiceover, emphasizing or de-emphasizing certain frequencies as needed. There isn't a one size fits all setting for EQ. The biggest thing to remember is a little goes a long way, so don't go overboard with the amount you cut or boost any frequency. Next, add the compressor effect to the voiceover track. This will help to balance the volume levels of the audio and create a more consistent sound. Adjust the compressor settings to your desired level of compression. Be careful not to over compress the audio as it can make it sound unnatural. To speed up the process, you can use a preset and make any necessary adjustments. To add depth and richness to a voiceover, you can also add effects like reverb and delay. These effects can be found in the effects rack under the reverb and delay categories. Be sure to have a reason for adding any effects because adding them without a deliberate need will be distracting. 